God bless you. I'm Pastor Rondon Reams. And I'm Pastor Maria Reams. Today, we just want to share a little bit about our story, our message regarding this Hope Reentry Project. I thank God for my mother, Bishop Ernestine Reams, when God called her over 50 years ago to start this ministry. She knew at that time that it was important to touch the lives of people beyond those who are a part of the congregation, beyond those who show up on Sunday. And so uh, her mindset was community. And so about five years ago, we started a program called Women Far Above Rubies. And that program was to help women who, who are incarcerated and who are coming out of prison. So when the women would come out of prison, we would minister to them and we would assist them and help them on Saturday mornings. They all kind of shared stories and we offered job training courses. We offered mental health services and also family reunification. Hi, my name is Terry Brown and I come to you today to share my story. I was a part of a, a group of ladies that um, uh, Pastor Maria started a group and it's from women coming out of prison. And I'd also like to share with you that um, I'm one of the ladies that came out of prison prior to this, this group being started. And so I've been out of prison for the last 15 years. And when Pastor Maria asked me to be a part of it, I was, I was um, ecstatic because I got a chance to share my story with the women and let them know that, that they can come out and they can have a life. Because as of today, I have a life, you know, and um, I also I've been clean like 15 years, and um, today I, I run a, a women's group, a women's home. I have six units, and I have 23 women, and I have 17 men. And when I decided to um, to get my life together, my parole officer sent me to a program for six months. And I went to the program, and I came out, and I found center of hope. And um, since I've been since I've been clean, God has blessed my life. He has uh, my whole life has changed. You know? I've been in church. I still do meetings though. I do meetings. I do NA. I go to church. I do both of those. I balance it out as far as um, trying to stay alive because the disease is waiting for me. It comes at it comes at any time, and it comes to kill me. It comes to steal from me. It comes to send me back to prison, and so I just have to stay prayed up because if I don't stay prayed up, I will be back in my disease, and I and I don't want that. This is exciting just to begin a program called the Hope Reentry Project, where yes. men will be coming out of prison, and they they'll get a second chance, mm -hmm. and we'll give them a hope, a hope for tomorrow. Isn't it exciting? Every step counts. Every step toward that pathway of hope counts. And I think knowing that we're touching men while they're yet in incarceration and we're preparing that safe place so that as they take their first steps, we will be that landing place for them. Being able to help them with their finances and being able to assist them in, in transportation and just uh, ministering to them spiritually. Yes. And that's a blessing to be able to do that for uh, men who are coming out of prison. We have our Point Man program, which is a powerful program where it's men who minister to other men, all ages of men. We believe that iron sharpens iron. So you have a great program here right next door to the church. You have deacons, ministers, men of the church who are willing to be a part and touch the lives of these men. It's a win-win situation. It's the Hope Reentry Project.